The best place to hide in event of the zombie apocalypse. There are prophecies concerning something colliding with Earth, something coming in from the skies and wreaking havoc on Earth. And lately even NASA has confirmed that there is a brown dwarf star relatively close to Earth. This is a very unsettling piece of information. So what's happening now is that there are various companies that are making available underground shelters, underground survival bunkers for those who can afford them. They're very expensive, so that, of course, they're only made available to those who have the funds to buy them. One such company is the Greenbrier Resort. It's a luxury hotel known for its lavish amenities and it's a 1,000, uh, sorry, it's a 112,544 square foot bunker. It was commissioned in 1958 to house Congress, the members of Congress in the event of a nuclear holocaust. It was finished in 61 and the Cold War government promptly stocked it with survival supplies. It has secret entrances from inside the hotel with a 25-ton blast door and three outdoor entrances. And that's not all. According to the Mother Nature Network, it features decontamination chambers, a power plant, water storage tanks, a clinic with operating rooms, intensive care unit, a pharmacy, dormitories that could accommodate more than 1,100 people. Underground bunker facility is Silo Home. Silo Home has acres of natural wilderness on every side of it. It makes a perfect place for all the necessary post-apocalyptic needs, farming, hunting, fishing. And above ground, there's a living room with a fireplace, a hangar and a wraparound porch. As you can see in this image, Underground, there are three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, plenty of living space, and a kitchen. So, you could always retreat to this 20,000 square foot silo, which has a tunnel leading to the underground living quarters in case of an earth or, of course, an extinction level event. Next comes the Capital Visitor Center is a three-story, 580-square-foot building and it's east of the Capitol. It's completely underground and as rumor has it, it was built below ground so as to enhance rather than detract from the appearance of the Capitol. The building plans existed well before 9-11 and the plans were altered after it occurred in order to make it even safer. And another site of underground bunkers is Site R. The Raven Rock Mountain Complex is known as Site R or the Underground Pentagon. According to Mother Nature Network, it's located nine miles from Waynesboro, Pennsylvania and six miles from Camp David. It was built in the 1950s. It's been sitting in preparation for an epic disaster ever since. Many claim that Raven Rock is the home to a city that exists exclusively underground. They claim it even has streets and fresh air constantly being pumped inside and can sleep up to 3,000 people and even has a presidential apartment. Another underground bunker for doomsday preparations is Mount Weather. The name of the place may be familiar. It's the place Dick Cheney retreated to under the tragic events of September 11, 2001. Mount Weather was constructed while the Cold War was on and it was a relocation site for high level efficiency in the event of a national disaster. It's high up in the Blue Ridge Mountains, about 48 miles from Washington, D.C. So it's quite close to that, to the capital. An above ground FEMA complex and a 600,000 square foot underground facility make up this spectacular 
Doomsday Underground Bunker. Another is the Survival Condo, constructed in a previously existing Atlas F missile silo. So the missile silo was already underground, it stretched down 200 feet below ground level and was built with epoxy hardened concrete walls capable of keeping you completely unharmed in case of a nuclear attack. The solar panels bring power to it and it has a generator and its own wind turbine. It also has private digital weather system and it cost 1.75 million dollars on a full floor unit. 900,000 for a half floor. It's very costly even for the extravagant safe haven, but you can't put a price on your safety, can you? This is a location that we've all heard of. It's Cheyenne Mountain. It's a self-sufficient complex and it's another government facility. What makes it so unique is the fact that it's built into the side of a mountain, just outside of Colorado Springs. It houses a variety of government operations, including NORAD, North American Aerospace Defense Command. The center of command is inside the tunnel that happens to be located a mile deep into the mountain. This tunnel is extraordinary as it can reroute the shock wave of a blast out to the other side, past its 25-ton blast doors. Also in the mountain, there is a 15 freestanding buildings and multiple chambers. So, if we live inside of the United States, most of these places will be made available to whoever can afford them. And then we have the Vivos complexes. They're in Europe as well as Indiana. Doomsday underground bunkers for the 1% elite are now made available for sale or timeshare. Vivos is one of the companies that supplies underground bunkers in case of a Earth cataclysmic event, such as an asteroid strike or atomic war. And it's the company is known as Vivos or the Vivos Group. It's a California based company founded by Robert Vicino, and he proposes to build hardened underground shelters designed to withstand future disasters and life extinction catastrophes. One 10,000 square foot shelter has been completed in Indiana, USA, and the others are underway. As of April 2012, Vicino said the company had approximately 25,000 subscribers, of whom 1,000 had bought shares entitling them to space in a shelter. The locations of these shelters are, one is in Indiana, it's the first completed shelter and it's located in Indiana and it can house 80 people for a year. The other location is Vivos, it's called Vivos Europa One, and Vivos plans to convert a surplus Cold War Soviet built underground complex of 250,000 square feet, so that's much bigger than the one of Indiana, it's about 10 times bigger. It's located in Rothenstein, Germany, and they're going to build it into a luxury shelter to house up to 6,000 people. It'll even contain a small zoo, storage for cultural treasures, a museum that is, and a gene bank for reconst reconstituting plants and animals after a possible extinction event. Fire safety regulations are expected to present a problem for the project. Uh, Cancelled Atchison, Kansas shelter. In 2013, Vivos acquired the purchase rights to a large portion of the Atkinson storage facility. And that's a huge facility, is 2,700,000 square feet. That's 25 hectares, that's 10 times bigger than the European one, and it's a former limestone mine in Atchison, Kansas. It was formerly owned by the U.S. Army and announced plans to convert it into the world's largest private underground survival center, housing 5,000 people. In June 2014, Vivos canceled the, Can the Kansas project, however. Not to worry, it still has a lot of locations with plenty of room available. 
for either purchase or timeshare. Anything from 35000 to a couple of million dollars. I'm sure that the elite will not want to uh, opt for the cheap accommodations since they can have luxury bunkers with their own aquariums and their own home cinemas when the doomsday end of the world approaches. I think they'll escape the day of reckoning. Some of us will be in Christ's arms, others will be hiding in the caves of the earth as the Christian prophecies go. I leave links below for you for this.